Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amankin Cloud. In this video, we will see how we can actually deploy the AWS Lambda function using GitHub Actions CI CD. So for that, what I've done is I've already created a particular folder in my uh, desktop here and I've opened that on my Visual Studio code. So the next thing that we need to do is to create a repository and create a Lambda function. So first we will go ahead and create the repository. So I've logged into my GitHub and I've uh, gone here to repository and I'll click on new. I'll name this repository as test lambda CI CD. Okay, you can give any name as per your requirement. I'll provide the same name in the description. In my case, I'll keep this as public repository. I don't have to worry about private right now. So if you're good, go ahead and create the repository. Once you have the repository, uh, we need to have a few things. So before adding these details, what we can do is we will go to the AWS console, create a Lambda function. Let me click on Lambda. And here I'll click on create function. I'll name this as test function. And I'll select the uh, version or the code base to be Python 3.11. And I do not actually require a, a role, but let me select an existing role to make it clear to you. And I'll cl click on create function. So if you see, this is just a, a simple test function that we have created. If you see here, uh, this is the lambda function.py. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this code just for your understanding. I'll go to my, uh, you know, um, VS code where I've opened the file. So here I will create a folder called source. Okay. After creating a folder called source, I'll create a, a file called lambda underscore function dot py now if you are asking me where did i get this one so if you see here let me go back to my console if you see here the name of the function or uh, this one file name is lambda underscore function dot py always remember to name this as lambda underscore function dot py so that is what even i have done here if you see here this is the exact thing okay now what i'll do is i'll just save this one for now okay now what i'll do i'll just open the editor here and i'll go back to my repository firstly we need to um, you know follow the instruction that the rep github repository is providing so i'll copy this code i'll go back to my v visual studio and i'll enter it okay so the first step is done next we need to initialize the get here on this folder i'll do that get in it so that is also done if you see here next we need to add all the details so what i'll do is git add and uh, i'll just say uh, you know period at the end basically i'm adding all the details next we need to commit it so i'll just copy this command whatever they have provided i'll just paste it and if you see here it is asking us to uh, provide more details okay so if you see here um, your name email address we were configured automatically that is good actually so two files change and create more dot readme and these these two files were actually changed so that that looks good so i'll i'll check out for the branch main so i'll um, provide that here let me clear the screen now and i'll add this one to this particular repository so i'll remote add and then i'll push it to the main branch okay let's do that okay so if you see here now it is done let me go back to my repository just refresh the page once and there you go uh, we have created a repository and a lambda function okay so if you are watching this video and if you would like to read whatever what we are doing there is a blog as well you can follow this as well okay now to in order for the github action to pick up any changes made on this repository you need to create a yaml file which will exactly do the same job i will explain about this yaml file in a while so what we need to do is let's copy this one i'll i'll show you what we need to do uh, inside this uh, inside this folder we need to create another folder called dot github okay and inside this github we need to create one more folder called workflows okay so i'll i should select this github and inside github i need to uh, give the name 
work workflows okay i think it is uh, going outside it so let me remove that dot github i'll i don't know why it is oh i think it is opening here okay so what i'll do is i'll just close everything here i'll even delete this one okay so here in the uh, main uh, folder i'll create a folder called dot github slash workflows okay so this is good now in the workflow i will create a, a file called lambda lambda underscore deployment dot yaml or yml okay now i'll paste this code whichever i copied from the uh, blog so now, now let me explain this code to you what this code is doing firstly i'm naming this yaml or the job as uh, deploy lambda function so on when you push or changes to the main branch it will go ahead and run this job okay so basically that is the idea of it when you push any code changes on the main branch it will go ahead and run this job now what is this job doing so there are a few steps that this job is doing okay first it is using uh, ubuntu latest as the image okay now it is installing in zip tool because what we are doing is whatever the code that we pass in it will be zipped and it will be using aws cli to push that to the lambda console okay if you see here we are installing aws cli2 we are installing um, a zip here and we are creating the zip file for the lambda function with the source code whatever we are providing and here is the actual thing that is going to happen here we are passing the function name basically we need to provide the arn here okay we need to copy it from the aws uh, console and here it is going to zip that file and pass it to the lambda function and how are we authenticating to aws we are going to use aws secret access key and the secret key and the default uh, region which you want to interact you can provide it here so we need to make only one change here that is to get the function url and paste it here so let's go to the aws console so if you go up here you will see something called as function arn let me copy that i'll come to my code and i'll remove this one and i'll paste this one if you see here i have created the uh, lambda function in us east one so you will also make sure to use default region as us east one but if your code lies in a different region you need to change it accordingly okay now let me uh, just save this file so that we do not miss it okay so this looks good i think there are zero changes that are uh, done uh, other than this one what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and expand this remember we need to provide also the aws access key and the secret key where are we providing that we are storing that as a repository secret and we are providing that so let's go ahead and create that as well so how do we create it so we need to be in the repository and go to settings and scroll all the way down you will see something called a secrets and variables select actions here scroll down click on create repository secret here we need to provide the secret details so what we'll do firstly we need to uh, create the access key id so i'll copy the secret name here i'll paste it where do you get the value uh, as you might have guessed we need to create a aws uh, key and the secret key so i'll go to iam and here we need to click on the user which you are going to use i'm going to use my own user go to security and here you will create a access key i'll go and select other and i'll click on next i'll create the access key so this is going to be my access key and secret key but a caution here do not reveal your access key and secret key because with this access key and secret key users can do whatever they want so for just for this demonstration i'm showing it to you after this demonstration i'm going to discard all this secret keys okay now let me copy the access key go to my uh, actions paste this click on add secret okay let's follow the same thing again let's create a new repository secret go back to the code copy the exact name that i've used 
paste it here and we need to get the secret key id we'll copy here and we'll go ahead and paste it here with that we will click on add okay so we have added two uh, secrets here that should be good now what we need to do is we need to push this code before pushing if you see the code it actually says um, this is uh, hello from lambda right so what we will do is uh, from github actions just to identify if it is picking the changes or not okay so now what we will do we will uh, add all the changes that we have done i'll just say git add i'll clear the screen okay now i'll uh, commit the changes git commit hyphen m final commit and i'll uh, enter it later we need to git push so i'll just hit git push and it will be taken and it will be pushed into the repository now let's go to the repository i'll go to the repository that we created and if you go to actions actually you see this a final commit uh, action was created and also observe one thing a folder called github under that actions under that lambda deployment was created here okay so you need to note that also now let's go to action and see if you see here final commit it is uh, deploying actually it is deployed already so if you see here it has completed the job okay now let's go to the you lambda function itself and see if it is having the changes or not let me you know refresh the page once and if i go to code just stay on the code here if you see here um, before we had something called as lambda function dot py now if you see test function is there source is there lambda function dot py is there readme file is also there okay and if you see the actual lambda function see it is coming from the github actions right so this is how you can actually deploy your lambda function using the github ci cd actions so that's all i had for this video i think if you're liking the video please consider subscribing and share it with your friends thank you and i will see you in the next demonstration video until then bye bye